Hello and welcome to the Saintly Sounder, your source for all things FIFA. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Inform El Hero Elia. Of course, since he's a Saint man, you knew I had to try him. And having Nistelroy in my squad and just waiting for him to rise in price so I could get up and grab Crespo gave me an opportunity to buy this guy on the cheap. I paired him with Inform Wanayama in a squad very similar to the squad I used for my Nistelroy review. I just changed it around to a 4 3 2 1 to just try Nistelroy out on 10 chem and give El Hero Elia a try. Alright, so as you can see, I paired him with Wanayama on the right hand side he was on 7 chem but in 15 games he had a very respectable 6 goals and 6 assists for a point per game score of just about .9 which is very very respectable he also got fouled 7 times in the box and we converted all 7 which doesn't count in the stats here but really can contribute to whether or not he might be a guy for you because as I called him in game he's the agent of chaos he just makes things happen Elia is not your conventional player. As you're going to see in almost all of these clips, there's an air of luck. There's an air of madness in everything he does. Here he just picks up the rebound, slides it in. And to be honest, that's really the only way he's going to score is in crazy weirdness because he tends not to have really good finishing, but he just is around the box. It's a very weird thing to have happen. And one of the few informs that play very, very well and you can definitely feel all the stat upgrades there though just lucky in the box and he gets a goal to further illustrate just the weirdness that is Elliot I want you to keep an eye I left this clip long for a reason as you can see here he kinda wins the ball almost but his touch lets him down but he just stays in and around the area and again this is extremely fortunate but it just happened so many times that he was in the right spot at the right time it was really really odd he only finished two from conventional chances the other four were all from situations like this and he did well to get up and get the header and the one thing you're gonna notice is he is insanely fast I would say even he feels faster than his 92 watch as he's buzzing around right there I'm user controlling him but watch how fast he gets around he's gonna finally be rewarded for his effort here and he gets in he's starting to head toward goal here he feels very very solid on the dribble hits it off to a man who can actually finish in Nistelroy and he doesn't miss Elia picks up the assist there through hard work and just being a pest to all of your opponents and in many ways this is why you should get him he feels really fun to use and he's kind of a unique player here and you're gonna see he gets out on the counter he's gonna breeze by Pogba of course he just he's not hurting for pace but this is Elia's game if you attack from the flanks a lot you're gonna find him very useful as you can see he just gets run over in the box for one of the many penalty kicks he earned for my squad but it's all down to his immense pace and his good dribbling and although his dribbling is fun, he can play a through ball and good passes if you need him to. I didn't feel that his stats let him down in the passing department in any way. As you're about to see here, once again, a corner kick situation, which allowed Elliot to get out on the counter. He plays the perfect through ball. Nistelroy doesn't have to slow down at all. And of course, once again, when you have a guy like that, never going to miss. But it all comes down to Elliot's through ball, his ability to be in the right place at the right time and to find chances for you this final clip really is everything you're gonna get with Elia crap finishing but just a weirdness a game-changing game-breaking ability to just sprint by people beat them on the dribble and just somehow create goals here just blows through everyone with his crazy pace hit the Burba spin there before knocking it off the post because of course Elia doesn't like to make things easy and it's a goal this was by far the hardest review I've ever done because as a player, outside of all of the luck and good rebounds he got, he was very average outside of his pace and his ability to dribble. But I give him an 8 out of 10 because of all of the things, how much fun he was to use, and just all the things he did for the rest of my team. And as I mentioned, on breakaways, he's very good. He feels very, very fast. 9.5 out of 10 there. There are very few players that feel faster in-game. Inside the box finishing is dreadful. If you need clinical finishing and you don't have a really good finishing striker, Eli is not your man. He's a below average finisher at best, and on his good days, he's going to convert maybe 25% of the chances he's going to get. 6.5 out of 10 there. Outside the box, just no. 3 out of 10. As you saw in the video clips, his skill running is very good. He feels very solid on the ball. You can do just about any skill move. He has four-star skills. If he had five-star, he might be even better. But you can feel free trying to skill with Elia. 8.8 .8 out of 10. He's very solid on the ball. For heading, Elia is not a tall guy, but he 
does feel fairly okay heading the ball. Again, don't whip balls into him, but every once in a while he does kind of shockingly get above a center half and can score you a surprise score there. So I just rate him about average in that department, 7 out of 10. Of course, if you deploy him on the wings, you're going to expect him to be able to play good passes and for the most part, he doesn't disappoint. He's a little bit above average in the passing stat. I would have guessed it was about an 80 if I hadn't seen the card myself. And that's all you really can ask for from a winger. He feels a little bit better than Walcott there. But it's his intangible rating that I think really kind of sets him apart as a player you might actually consider despite his kind of poor card stats outside of his pace. He feels good on the ball. He feels better than Walcott, honestly, on the right-hand side. And on the left-hand side, I'd put him just barely below Sherla in terms of ability. Is he worth 70k? I don't know. I used him for chemistry. I already had to pay on the left, so I couldn't put him there. So I put him on the right. He didn't disappoint. He did the job. He did very well. He got almost a point per game, which is a lot better than I thought I'd get out of him. And overall, I recommend him if you have the coins. I mean, it doesn't hurt. I think he's going to do well for Southampton. And if the hype train starts getting rolling about how Kuman saved his career and stuff, his price might go up a fair bit. Alright, so if you found this at all interesting or helpful, like and subscribe. If you have questions, comments, concerns, I'll try to help them out. You can hit me up on Twitch or in the comments section. This was a very challenging review, and I feel like there's a lot of nuances to Elia's game that really don't fully come out. And so if you have questions about whether or not he might be right for you, you can ask that there. I'm on Twitter at the Red Death 329 if that's your thing. Until next time, see you on the pitch.